Good morning. Well, wouldn't you know it, we're in February now. And things look a lot different since uh, last month's renovations. But, gotta say, I'm very happy with that. We've done a lot of work, and uh, it's starting to show. But, that is not what we're here for today. Today, we are going to uh, haul away some grain, if all goes well. So let's take a look and see what is happening. So right now we have sunflowers up at a decent price. March they could be better. But uh, we're thinking, you know what, in March uh, it, it could be uh, too, too far gone. So we're going to do it now. So what kind of prices are we looking at? We're looking at grain mill warehouse at 33.53 so that's probably our best bet and seeing as we got 144,000 it looks like we'll be doing the double trailer load again perfect so why don't we get started so because we're not going to be able to fill both of the trailers completely full I think it stands to reason that We'll just fill this one, I don't know, some 60-70% full and uh, maybe get that back trailer pretty close to full, I don't know. But we won't, we won't fill this one completely, we'll just kind of keep an eye on it and just go from there. Just so that, you know, all the trailers have a bit of weight on them. So we're going to go with 75 in that box. And looks like about 30,000 for this one. So where would that bring us? Kind of hard to tell. Let's stop it kind of right there. And uh, we're going to just look and see what we got left. We got about 50,000, so we can definitely add a bit more. And where are we sitting at now? 43. See, as a trucker, sometimes you have to just sit around and wait and watch. Gotta make sure your weights are correct. 38. Alright, well. Why don't we try seeing if this bin will hold the rest. Should in theory, but what do I know, right? If not, we'll dump some more into the front trailer. This way, at least all of the trailers have a good portion of weight on them. And if the back trailer is completely full, that's fine as well. We are not opposed to that at all. Looks like some of those crossbars are still fill over. Is there more? Yes, there is. Alright, looks like we'll be able to put a little bit more into this trailer here. Well, now, who would have figured you could get the entire back trailer full and a good chunk on this one, too? It's pretty impressive, honestly. There we are. That's it for the soybeans. Or, sorry, sunflowers. Very nice. So we can go like this and like this. The tarps don't exactly match. But they're close enough. Close enough for us. You can definitely tell that uh, the trailer is not completely full based on the fact I can reach more than 70 clicks an hour by the time I get to the uh, animal dealer. Which is good. We like to see that. So let's hope this uh, brings up our numbers a little bit because we do have a full season ahead of us and uh, not a lot of income just yet. We'll be doing a lot of work for our neighbors again. Hopefully lots and lots of planting. We have, you know, two fairly new tractors. We have two planters we can get going. We got our T6, which can fertilize. So, you know, there's so much left to do. And there's cultivating we can do. With the five full tractors to uh, do work with, you know, it's kind of the world's our oyster at this point. And it looks like this is our place right at the store where 
we needed to drop it and it looks like right at that front door is where we're dumping interesting yeah they always have a bunch of strange places to dump at the store here I I can never quite get used to it oh well it is what it is I don't want to tip there <laughs> They wanted me to tip there. I don't think so. I want to tip here. That's it. Now we did a very good harvest. Wow. Last year we uh, we came to seven hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred dollars worth of uh, income from our harvest that we had managed to sell. So that was great. I was very, very happy with that. And this trailer is 300, well, almost 310,000. Goodness. That is amazing. Okay, so our tip is at the front, which this time we will allow just because I don't want to back up with that dolly. That seems rather sketchy. But we should. <laughs> It looks like we're uh, definitely bumping up in the world a bit. Come on, make to 900. There we are. 900,000 right there. What was that? 86.9? Nice. So we just might crack one mil if all goes well. Alright. Oh, hold well on. There. That's the button I was looking for. If that is indeed the case, we get one million dollars, then I will buy a new dump truck and a new semi. That's my promise to you guys. And we can call that our episode. New semi. Look at that, one million. Hey, hey. That is awesome. Well, I'm a man of my word. We're getting a new dump truck and a new semi. Just because. Alright, so... Like we promised, we were getting a new semi. There's the old one. It's got the air conditioner on the cab. And the intake's there. Single light. The old bumper. Yeah, it's an old Mac, right? But uh, here's the new one, and I can't even see very much from those lights, my goodness. But they are a double lens. I don't know how well you can tell. Uh, the grill is definitely a lot bigger. Should be a lot more cooling. Uh, I try to keep with the theme. We have black with the uh, blue fenders instead of the blue stripe on the other truck. Uh, we definitely gained some more in the stacks and visors and lighting and all that good stuff. So, really nice. Um, I feel like I should put a sleeper on here, but I haven't yet. Maybe we'll do that later. And it looks like a nice little detail here with the back logo. Very, very cool. So, this is the dump truck. Um, it didn't even ask if I wanted a hitch in the back or not, but I guess we'll figure that one out as we go. Yeah, same uh, paint theme. Got the intakes on the sides as well. This one I went uh, straight pipe, but uh, cut angle back exhaust. It's got the dump box in the whole nine yards. Should be beautiful. And I did go with a uh, more of a commercial heavy duty bumper here. Really, really nice. I happen to like that a lot. So there's nothing left to do but to sell the old girl and uh, hook up the new one to our gizmo right over here. I bought a new dolly as well, which I can show you right over here. Nice shiny new fenders and all. And I can show you that once I'm all hooked up, ready to go. Now the uh, nice thing about this truck is that it actually has engine brakes and I just think it looks really cool overall. Did you guys notice that the tarp was a navy blue to match with the rest of the tippers? I thought that would just be a nice little touch to add. So right now I'm trying to hook up this dolly here to the other trailer and uh, let's see if we can get her lined up and there we are ready to bring back to the farm 
something like so. Yeah, even this dump truck's got the old Jake brake. Gotta love it. Our rolls open just like so. Just like you'd see on a normal dump truck. You can choose on real capacity on this truck, but I chose not to have that. Just because, you know, I like to play as realistic as I can without, you know, going too overboard. But here we are. I bet you this thing would, I think we were packing 600 horse on this versus uh, the 500 on the other one. And this one, we can crank the horsepower up way, way more yet. I. I just went with 600 for now just because I want to try it out and actually have something to achieve a little later on. But yeah, no, that's a sweet looking rig for sure. I think we're going to be really happy with this investment, even though it costs us like 300,000 all said and done. But, you know, we still have plenty of money to hire workers and to do all of what we need to do. So there you go, a nice short little episode for you guys. So thanks again for watching, and uh, I do hope you guys did enjoy this uh, bit of a shorter episode. And if you did, you leave that thumbs up, and let me know that you guys liked it, or let me know in the comments, or do both. I'm fine with uh, both of them. And if you guys are new to the channel, or you want to see where we go from here, you can now see how we upgrade and uh, we keep upgrading the farm keeps getting bigger and bigger and better so yeah if you want to keep up to date with what's happening and the goings on on the farm it's an easy way to do it all you got to do is subscribe and that way you'll never miss when i post a new video shoot by the time this video is out uh, will it be the new year kind of hard to tell i've been uh, recording a lot currently in the date of recording here we're about September 13th but uh, this thing will either drop end of December or early in January and that tells you how committed I am to uh, uploading videos so don't hesitate to subscribe because you get lots of content coming your way it'll keep going and going all right guys thank you so much and uh, we will catch you guys on the next video, hopefully. Take care now.